Brendan McDermott, Reuters One Wall Street analyst is sick of waiting around for Snap to post stronger numbers and cut his rating to sell, predicting another 50% slide for the social media stock, lambasting the social media company for a lack of innovation and anemic quarterly results. BTIG analyst Richard Greenfield told clients he is no longer confident the company will be able to monetize the platform this year. We are tired of Snapchat's excuses for missing numbers and are no longer willing to give management time to figure out monetization. Greenfield wrote Tuesday, We incorrectly stuck to our neutral rating in October 2017 due to our view that communications apps were sticky and would protect Snapchat engagement, with management simply needing more time to figure out monetization. Since then, he added, the stock has lost over half its value. Show Chapters Snap Chief Strategy Officer Imran Khanda stepped down 8. 38 a.m. ET Mon. The 10th of September 2018, 30 The stock closed down 6.98% after trading lower for part of the day on Wednesday. Snap, which operates a camera-based phone application that allows people to share photos and short videos, has proved a tough investment for many since its initial public offering in March 2017. Since the IPO, Snap stock is down nearly 60%, a slide many have blamed on lackluster engagement growth slow monetization and disappointing innovation from chief executive Evan Spiegel. Greenfield had been neutral on the shares since initiating coverage in April 2017, while the Snapchat parent beat on both earnings and revenue in the second quarter. Executives disclosed that the app's number of daily active users dropped to 188 million from 192 million. It also issued guidance that fell short of analyst expectations. While Snap closed Tuesday at $9.89 per share, the analyst believes it will slide to $5 per share by September 2019. Others have pointed to the success of Facebook's Instagram as a major headwind for Los Angeles-based Snap. Since Instagram launched its Stories feature just over two years ago, it now has more than twice the daily active users of Snapchat. According to BTIG, we have been disappointed in Snap's product evolution, as have users, and see no reason to believe this will change. Continue Greenfield, we have not seen any meaningful innovation since the IPO. Snapchat it has simply been out-innovated by Instagram as Sir Jefferies also cut its forecast for Snap issuing a new 12-month price target of $11 per share Wednesday. Echoing Greenfield's criticism, analyst Brent Phil told clients that early analysis shows persistent declines in user engagement. In the third quarter, while still too early to call, Snap's flywheel of engagement seems to have stalled with both daily active users and time spent beginning to trend in the wrong direction, Phil warned. Snap's position as a communications platform and content distribution platform hinges on the need for users to have multiple friends on the platform as your if users begin to churn to other services. It could cause a negative flywheel as users have less incentive to open the app. He added, Phil said he reduced his 2019 revenue estimate to reflect his growing uncertainty around user. Interest he now sees income at $1.53 billion for the year. Disclosure CNBC's parent company, NBC Universal, is an investor in Snap. Disclaimer